All right, guys, so here we go with the quick line of sight flight test with the Spectre Air. I got the battery fully charged. There we go. And I have a Class U3 micro SD card inserted to record the video. But most importantly, I'm going to be recording on my remote control here on screen recording. And I do have a micro SD card inserted on the remote as well. So let's go ahead and power this thing on. Short followed by a long press. And we'll put it to cinematic mode or speed number one. And let's go ahead and power up the quadcopter. There we go, powered up. And let's see. All right. We got video transmission. Nice. Approach edge of altitude zone. Okay. All right. So let's check out the camera tilt angle real quick. All the way down to negative 90 degrees, straight down. Home point updated. Nice. Horizon. And all the way up to positive 60 degrees. Look at that. Really, really nice. All right, so here we go. I'm going to tilt the camera down to where I see one third sky and two thirds ground. Let me go ahead and go into the settings. Okay, break. Okay, return to home altitude set to 30 meters. And let me go ahead and screen record. There we go, screen recording. All right, now you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, 30 meters, max altitude, 120. Distance, no limit. Compass calibration, we'll comp do the compass calibration right now. Even though it says normal, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And there you go. It says to start, rotate the quadcopter horizontally. And it is telling me to do it vertically. So do it vertically. And there you go. Compass calibration complete. Okay, wait a little bit. And it says take off permitted. Let's see. We got 25 GPS satellites locked in and we are screen recording. So nice. Make sure I'm recording here. All right, so let's go ahead and check this thing out. Let's see. Another thing that I wanted to do was take a look at all of the units of measurement. I'm going to go with Imperial. Okay, follow me. We also have FPV mode. Okay. Camera, normal, coding format, 265, anti-flicker, and white balance automatic, and transmission, dual band, okay, and about. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and check it out. Bolt sticks to the bottom and in, arms the motors, and throttle all the way down, disarms the motors, bolt sticks to the bottom and out, arms the motors, and throttle all the way down, disarms the motors. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this thing out. It says here, take off. A little thing that says take off, and a button also says take off. Nope, that's not going to work. You're going to have to arm the motors first. Arming the motors, and then hitting that, Ooh, now it's land. Okay, I don't want to land, I got to manually take off. Okay, there we go. Rock steady, home point has been updated. Oh, very nice. You can hear some warning because we are too low to the ground. Okay, let's yaw in place. Wow, look at that.
Wow, it did not move, not even an inch. Very nice. Okay, let's see if I can get it angry. I know it's got the vision system here. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so I guess we'll skip the, uh, the angry part. So let's go forward and push it out. It says end mode. Why is it in end mode? Okay, C mode. Okay, so C mode. Here we go. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit too fast for cinematic mode. So this is speed number one, cinematic mode. And let's see how fast it goes. 10.8 miles per hour. Turning around. And the radius for turning around is right there, that wide. Okay, nice and smooth. So you want to take some cinematic shots, this is it right here. And you can go lower in altitude, catch some ground action. Oh yeah, this thing is superb. Okay, let me raise it up so I don't hit any bushes. And turn around. Wow, rock steady. Okay, coming towards me. Doing a little speed pass. There you go. Speed number one or cinematic mode. Okay, letting go of the sticks. Hover. Rock steady. Wow. Okay, let's go to normal mode. So let's see how fast that is. A lot more pitch. A little bit more speed. Okay, the turn radius has gotten a little bit smaller. So I can turn a little bit tighter. And that is the full yaw. Okay, let's see how fast it goes. 25, 26.4, 26.6 miles per hour. Turn around and head on this way. Twenty five, twenty six point six, twenty six point seven at one point. There she goes, turning around. Oh, yeah, you can still do cinematic shots in normal mode, too. You're just going faster. So you go down in altitude, and look at that. Oh, yeah. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> looks nice okay go up in altitude turn around and come this way nice okay letting go of the sticks comes to a hover and it's rock steady wow okay sport mode forward pitching coming this way oh yeah super fast <laughs> Woo -hoo. turning around uh, the turning radius is about the same as the normal mode. Let's see. Okay. And that is the full yaw. Full pitch, full yaw. Going down in altitude a little bit. Raise it up a little bit more. And full pitch. Let's see how fast she goes. 30, 40... 45, well she's boogieing at 46.2 is the maximum speed, 45, and then it's going down. So let's turn around again and head back. Let's see, where am I? I'm right here, I think. Okay, right there. I can see a dot very fast. Nice. Coming this way and going down in altitude, do a speed pass. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sounds mean. 
Okay, nice smooth turn and come this way. Nice. All right, so let's see the camera tilt here. And tilt all the way down to minus 90 degrees and it is completely proportional look at how slow I can go up there I am nice and smooth and you can see the degree line right on the side there and look at that I can go above zero degrees all the way up to 60 degrees oh yeah Okay, let me go down let's go one-third sky and about two-thirds ground and let's see well uh, well let me go down a little bit more and see if it zooms in and out okay there you go there's the zoom and that is the maximum zoom 3x and let me zoom out and zoom is proportional as well I can go quick or I can slowly zoom in and I can slowly zoom out nice <laughs> wow very nice rock steady let's see the super bright white LED light there we go and that would be C2 there you go super bright white LED light and also the C1 button you press that the camera tilt angle goes from minus 90 degrees right up to zero degrees you can quickly change degree angle in an emergency that's great so I'm gonna rotate it down a little bit okay very nice guys so Let's go ahead and land this thing right here on my landing pad. And then, okay, it comes to a hover right there. You got to push it all the way down for a little while and then it'll land. All right. So let's see. I'm going to put it like dead center on that H. Home point is going to update once we take off. So what happens to this takeoff? Takeoff. No. You got to hold it. It arms. And then it rises up right at that altitude. Look at that. Home point updated. So it does work. I just didn't press it long enough. Okay. So let's see here. Let's push it out right about there let go of the sticks comes to a hover and look at that my camera angle has gone back to zero degrees okay let me bring it back down right about there all right and hit that return to home button and hold it return to home. and return to home initiated oh it didn't go up in altitude it's just coming back it turned around and it is coming back Okay, I thought it's supposed to rise up to the pre-designated, I believe I put 30 meters. Oh, perhaps you need to go further out. Okay, let's see how close it lands to where it took off from. Looks like it's going to land right on top of the landing pad here. Senses the ground. Oh my god wow look at that it's almost like dead center just slightly to the left <laughs> okay let's do that one more time nice and push it out let me push it out a little bit more and see what happens when it starts to return home okay a little bit further away we are 564 foot away 41 feet so let's go ahead and return home. return to home okay 
turns around. Okay, no, it is not rising up. It is just coming back as well. So there must be something I am not doing correctly. Okay, it's just coming back home straight. Forward. And, yeah, the camera angle has returned back to zero degrees. So I guess it readjusts when you hit that return of home. And let's see where it lands this time. A little warning that is approaching the object. The ground is its object. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Right where it took off from. Okay, let's see one more time. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to retake control of it once I hit it. So what happens to the altitude? That is strange. Okay, I must have the setting a little weird or something that it doesn't do that for some reason. Let me go ahead and hit the return to home. Okay, let's see what it does now. It is at 89 feet. 550. Yeah, it just turns around and comes back. The same altitude. So once it comes near, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the re uh, return to home button one more time. But short press it to pause. And there you go. That's that pause. It stops right away in its tracks. And now I can go ahead and retake control of this thing wow that is just amazing okay so the camera tilt angle returned back to zero so i'm gonna go ahead and check this thing out here and do some fpv wow look at that we are in sport mode but i'm not pushing the pitch stick too much I, I'm, I'm just pushing it a little bit and I'm yawing just a little bit. So you can still fly very slow, even in sport mode. Oh yeah, there I am. And there it goes. Very nice. So smooth. Yawing to the right. Oh, you can have all kinds of fun with this one. Okay, coming this way. And letting go of the sticks and it comes to a hover and it just hovers. Rock steady. Of course, there's no breeze or anything today. So that is helping it out. Okay, so let's check it out here. I'm gonna go roll left and right. Let's see the gimbal in action. Okay, forward, backwards, forward. Look at our horizon is locked. Wow, very nice. Okay, somebody asked me in another video, does a quadcopter go as fast sideways or backwards as it does forward? Okay, so we know that it goes, uh, what, 50 something miles an hour going forward? Correct? Okay. 46 maybe the battery is kind of low now we are in sport mode and going backwards coming back to me pulling the stick all the way goes up to 42 miles an hour okay so pretty fast not as fast as going forward this thing is made to go forward faster but look at that, rock steady video. Okay, to the left, see how fast we can go sideways. Look at that. 
that means you can capture something that's going pretty fast sideways let's go to the right I forgot to see how fast it went 30 40 miles an hour 41.2 41.4 so right about the same speed as it goes backwards but going forward is the fastest at what was it like 54 when we first tested it out so really really nice and let's see throttling up Twenty two miles per hour. Okay, ho, oh, it went high pretty quick. Throttling down. Twenty one. And it is coming down. Letting go of the sticks. Oh <laughs> comes to a nice hover. Very, very nice. Okay, so we got fifty two percent remaining in the battery life, which equates to twenty one minutes so really really nice quadcopter guys wow now I will not include all of those special features like circle me and follow me and all that stuff I'll do that in a different video because you know the battery runs out and I did already waste a lot but we'll check out the obstacle avoidance here so I'll bring it down I don't have anything overhanging so I can't really test out the obstacle avoidance going up but I can go over to the car and let's see here I'm pitching forward I'm in sport mode whoa in sport mode I forgot we don't have obstacle avoidance that's right so I switched over to end mode now we got obstacle avoidance I almost hit my car okay going forward and oh look at that it stopped right there and I'm pitching forward it won't go any more than that it stops right there okay let me yaw to the left and then roll to the right and look at that it won't go any further than that so let's move away a little bit and go towards the car on its right side and look at that it won't go any further than that let's see how about backwards let's move away and pull it towards the back and same spot wow so in all directions it has obstacle avoidance even on the left side we didn't do the left side so let's go ahead and move towards the car on its left nope it will not do it all right so nice obstacle avoidance works perfect so even if you do like a follow me it will detect obstacles and avoid it you can either set it to go around it or go above it superb nice yeah so I've never had a quadcopter this good I've had the DJI spark I had the DJI Phantom 3 Pro and the DJI FPV drone with the goggles V2 here comes a couple of birds checking it out <laughs> there it goes <laughs> you can chase a bird too yeah but all of them well the spark is a pretty good quadcopter even now my battery however um, it's too old for me to fly so I need to get a new battery but the spark still is a really good quadcopter but this one is the best one I've flown to date I've flown a lot of well 
not toy grade but other GPS quadcopters and some of them are pretty good but they do have their faults but this one has zero fault everything works just perfect so smooth So, I still would suggest, if you're a beginner, go get yourself a quadcopter that is pretty cheap so you can learn the sticks. And then get yourself one of these. I would suggest getting one of these instead of any other GPS drone. And that is because Something like this, you can't crash because it has 360 degree obstacle avoidance. So you can even learn how to fly with one of these. You know, it costs a lot. You could damage it if you really uh, are a beginner and you don't know what you're doing. So get yourself a really cheap one just to learn how to control the sticks. And then jump into something like this. That will probably save you money instead of buying cheap GPS drones that doesn't quite do what this can I mean wow look at how smooth the video is go down in altitude look at that and this is in the normal mode turning around and if you saw my video that I did earlier with this quadcopter, the beginning introduction, closer look and all that. I did do a um, distance test on both of the flights. On first flight, I went 4,000 something meters. And on the second flight, I went 7.7 .7 kilometers and made it back. And I have video all the way throughout. So something like this is what you want. This is all you need. And if you want to get one of these, you know, you can go the DJI route or you can get the DJI Air 3 with one battery for $1,099. But that one comes with the RCN2 remote control that doesn't have the display screen like this. So you have to put your phone on there, you got the cables, you got to hook it up, you got to download the app, and you got to do all that stuff. But this one here, you just turn it on and it connects to this remote. Absolutely fantastic. And it costs just $100 more. Whereas DJI charges $200 premium to upgrade to this RC2 remote control with the display screen so you can get the fly more combo with the one that doesn't have the screen for 1349 I believe and then you can get the fly more combo with the RCN2 with the built-in screen like this for 1549 so yeah $200 premium to upgrade to the remote controller that has the display screen but if you want, don't want to spend $1549 and still stay with the $1,199, you can buy this one, the Spectre, this RCN2 remote controller. And then you can add batteries as you go along because the batteries cost what? About $150, $139 I believe it is. So yeah, so you can go that route. Just get yourself one of these Spectre Air because this is the same exact drone as the DJI Air 3, guys. Yeah, I've tested it once. I've tested it twice now. And this is like, yeah, very, very nice quadcopter that you really do want to get. Something like this. So let's go ahead and hit that return to home button. Return to home. So it just turns around. I gotta play with it a little bit more to find out exactly what it does and goes up to that 30 meter 
altitude before it comes home. So I'll recharge the battery and play around a little bit more and get some practice on the quick shots, master shots, follow me, circle me, point of interest, and all that, waypoints and all that. And I'll make another video as well as another video with a 4K camera recording. And look at that. Oh my God. Basically where it took off from after all that flying. Just fantastic. All right, guys, so there you go. My quick line of sight test flight with the Spectre Air. If you want to check it out, the link to this quadcopter is down below. So I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.